So, now it's time to really get this show on the road. This is the projectile we'll be using. Uh, it's maybe six millimeters across, about three, three centimeters or so long, pointed, weighs about nine, ten grams, thereabouts. So, step one, we're going to turn the machine on. We can see both displays are working right now. That's good. I'm a little concerned about this one. The machine itself has been through one too many explosions, and I'm worried that that is going to, well, frankly, it doesn't always work because of that. Uh, the computer's looking good, though. It's got its one LED on that actually shows that it is in the correct boot state. So what I'm going to do is uh, load the projectile. And there's actually a magnet that holds it in just the right position. You can see that right in there. And so now the projectile is, is loaded and should be ready. So that's the target we're going to be shooting on. I put a lot of padding in there and uh, added some shielding around it to try and keep it from uh, jumping around once it actually hits that backstop, which can be a problem sometimes. Uh, the old setup is a lot less interesting to see in video, but Generally speaking, it controls ricochets better. So now I'm going to reach in, and I'm going to begin the charging process. You can see that that uh, display jumps to life again, this one down at the bottom. But it's pretty shaky, and the machine is going to continue to charge even though that thing has no idea what it's doing. If you listen really closely, you can actually hear the machine charging. It makes kind of a whine. When it's ready, that the tone of that whine is going to change. It's getting up there. You can see that it's trying to read off 400 volts. So I think it's ready now. I heard that tone change. That's fire. That's a shot from the accelerator. Just turn this guy off while it's safe. And of course, double check to make sure those capacitors are empty. Let's look at the damage that we did. Uh, clearly we went right through this little piece of plexiglass, but that doesn't mean much. Um, looks like the wadding did stop it. And that's generally a good thing. I wouldn't want to see too much damage there.